Stay tuned for the next episode. Only here on Z81 Radio, Manila. Conversation and very timely, as we've said uh, earlier in the break, because that sector is growing every year. A lot of young um, emerging artists, queer artists, and of course, enthusiasts um, have been, you know, Uh, showing their beautiful colors um, into the art scene. And yun nga, kakatapos lang ng art fair, which is a good venue also for artists, you know, to flirt. I, like I like being able to touch a man and not be, uh, and create the fact that, uh, how do I want, how, what do I want to say? I want to be able to make a man because I identify as one to express myself outside of myself through sculpture and sexuality is part of it because well i i identify as a, uh, as a gay man and what what why yeah it's the, there's taboo in in sexuality uh, there's taboo and in, in And nakedness, in nudeness, and art becomes the vehicle or the medium to accept that. Tab. When my that particular piece evolves with me, um, in a sense that it evolves with me because aside from two things, my identity, what I think the piece is, by essence, the piece is still the same. It's just this is a developed version of the previous one you saw. It's just I. It, it develops with me in two senses, my identity and my technicality. So, um, kumbaga, as I go along with this, as I mold it and, and I cast it and I bring it out of its shell, it follows me and it dictates me. I I wanted still to retain that uh, duality of male and female. I don't know if I was able to capture it, but I did my best. Yes, pero maganda rin yung insight na sinabi niya kanina na when he does his art, he also considers the business side of it. But I, I think I've dealt with artists enough for me to know that there are really a lot of artists who are unapologetically expressive of themselves. And that itself, I think, is one good step ahead to you know being a progressive um art industry because you know we can really keep on staying on the same thing that has you know defined us you know we're done with the rice fields with we, we're done with the maria claras <laughs> and all that so it's nice that our ma- um our artists are very vocal of their sexuality whatever that may be and They're they are very creative and expressive. Um, it's not it's not necessarily sexual in a sense, but um, like there are just some clients who favor homo or homoerotic um, pieces. There are some clients who prefer nude. Like there are some clients that just go lang flower because you know flower represents you know female genitalia and all that. So it's not something that man because we can't. Keep on catering to the same type of client. Otherwise, you know, the whole year we'll just be displaying nude and isalang client namin and stuff like that. Yeah. So it's it's a monthly reset, a monthly refresh of the things that we do, of the things we display. But it's not mostly just catering to one client. Eh. It's like also introducing new art kinks. To new collect, and I think we're close to the time na we no longer have to question it by the painting's gender or the painting's sexuality because we look at it as art. Parang, it doesn't matter if it's gay. It doesn't matter if you know it has lesbian vibe. It doesn't matter if it's erotic. If it speaks to me, you know, as as an, an audience of the art. I guess we erase all those and you know just look at art as art. When you use art as a medium or a vehicle to express identity, whether that be you know, um, I, I think I I'd like to agree with what Drake said 
and but instead of of um, categorizing them into labels, two sub labels like lesbians and gays, I just like to call it identity na lang. Um, because uh, well, well, yeah, because identity is to be to be human, you know, to be to have a sense of purpose. Even it's all boils down to a sense of purpose. And with LGBT, I think. Um, I may be biased, pero I feel like LGBT artists are leading, are leading in terms of innovations, in terms of what's possible in the art industry. Mainly because we, by our very nature, as as uh, as uh, as homosexuals or as part of the LGBT, is we we defy, we defy um, the normal. Or the, the the heteronormative. Uh, so by 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 our nature, we we we, we, we become try to, we try to become something else. It's yeah. it's not this in the sector of. I mean, it it's not on it's not more on what is being displayed, but choosing the totality of the works that is going to be promoted. So it's more on the idea of the exhibit. Tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. Stay tuned for the next episode. Only here on Z81 Radio, Manila. The nice thing about that is that, um, especially for artists who have a sense of identity, who have a sense of uh, who, who, know, who, know, who knows who they are and are able to produce work con- Continuously, I think that, and are not afraid to show it. There is a nation who who aren't afraid to show it. Many artists say that they do it, but they don't really show it. And by by showing, I mean submitting to galleries, saying, "Hey, I'm actually worth it." You know, I'm actually something to to reflect on, or 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 invest on, or you know, be be part of your life because my work has affected yours, your perception. You know. Um, I like what Grace said uh, regarding like you. You just know if an artwork is for you. Was that you who said that, or or yeah, ibang yeah. conversation? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. If there's one thing that, that I don't want to, I know. Maybe because I'm also biased, pero you know I don't see beauty so much in the female form. Like I look at the female form, and I'm like, oh, that's cool. You know, neutral lang ako. I, I don't feel so strongly about it. Um, uh, I don't feel like I'm obligated to continuously make it. Or kung gagawa man ako ng female form because I inuuna ka yung idea rather than the female form. I don't make the idea from the female form but rather the idea comes from the, the yeah, the idea comes from or the female form comes from the idea. Kung nagigets nyo ba yan? Yeah. Uh, so I don't put the female form as priority. Unlike unlike this that, that the previous sculpture in male, inu lang male a little bit to say I wanted to show the male, but the female bodies. Uh, um, yeah, I, I think that, that that should answer your question. Um, female form. Uh, uh, I don't know. Aside from you know, obviously making expressing your answers through artworks and um, voicing out your concerns. I think what is more important is to never be very um, combative when it comes to your art. Because when you attack with um, an even more aggressive attack, shines a different light on the issue eh, na parang ano ba naman itong LGBT community na to, ganito lang yung issue, and then all of a sudden, times 10 ka nag-explode na ganyan. I mean, I get it. I don't want to be oppressed for um, my sexuality, for what I believe in, for, 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 for what I am comfortable with, and how I identify myself with. Pero parang you know, attack with kindness, kill with kindness. Let them know that we're just beyond just, you know, uh, having a very strong shield. Um, 
it I think it's nicer to have to 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 promote or or shed light on a uh, queer art by showing that it's a very very positive community. Like realistically speaking, Tara. <laughs> I know that. I know. <laughs> Like I I I love my question. <laughs> I love my question. Like, don't laugh. I'm don't laugh. Real realistic answer, pero uh, in in all honesty, I I like the fact that I'm able to um create something and and see and and through that process, I I try to say, lalo na for example, if I'm I have a if I have a long piece, if I have long piece. That I'm doing, I, I try to determine why. Why am I doing this? What is its value to me? And um, mas natutuwa ako when other people, like for example, when Grace said Karina na she she like like the two lovers. Kili ako. There are some no overtly obvious na at talaga yan. As is as is kind of artwork. There are there are times naman talaga na just changing angles or just changing ver- versions or perspectives gives you a different but it's only for sculpture but it gives you a different uh, uh, um, well, yeah, perspective uh, a different take of what it is and I think that's the beauty of, of art. are you now yeah. how Grace? yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, oh? well yeah because you, yeah. you should understand it because you have to make it sustainable hindi ka hindi ay uh, kung unless sabi ko kanina unless na abueva uh, or 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 uh, uh, or lina or something na may funds kang pwedeng pagkuha na like you know go for it you know pero if if you like me you come from a background na na sarili mong sikap sarili mong uh, uh, I'm not ano ah okay I, these these names, these bigger names, got where they are because they did this before. But to, to me, my own process is that you have to understand the business side of it because you have to make it it's sustainable. You have to make it um, reality. Tell us in the comment. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know.